Hi and welcome to today's Blueberry Markets video update with me John Kibler, Head Currency Analyst. In this video we're going to look at Euro, US Dollar and we're going to discuss whether we think the trend will change and as you can see we're on the weekly time frame. Price has been moving quite aggressively to the upside with that dollar weakness. We've had a real good few weeks of that dollar weakness and euro US dollar gaining off of the back of that and we've moved about 500 pips to the upside over the past two months so really really decent move higher breaking through some key levels so 112 was the first level that it took that it broke through then 114 115 and it's just continued and it's kind of found a little bit of resistance around about 118 and if we look left there is some decent uh, resistance coming from that point in the past so uh, back in 2018 and 2017 the market was up here finding some support and resistance previously um, what I quite like about this potential reversal we've got a few things uh, to consider first of all we've got the uh, where the dollar index is and euro US dollar is pretty much the inverse uh, of the dollar index and you can see prices come back down into that key 93 dollar level and is potentially looking for some buyers to step back in here it has gone oversold on the um, rsi on the weekly time frame typically when the, the price does this um, we do see some kind of reversal form uh, same for euro us dollar as well when we see those kind of oversold conditions or overbought conditions uh, we typically get a move uh, uh, in the opposite direction so um, for me Euro US dollar could be the one to, to change as well. The second sort of point we've got is the fact that the seasonality that we looked at a week or so ago um, typically shows that the US dollar finds a reversal through the end of July, start of August. So we've got to consider that as well and the fact that we're at these key levels. So what we need to wait for is some confirmation and what do we and, what, and how will that look? So on the daily time frame, we have a really nice sort of bearish candlestick in here. Um, we've moved and moved a long, long way. Um, so to me, if if we were going to find some resistance here, I want to map out where could price kind of go to. So I like the 115 area. That's an area that we've looked at before in the past where we expected the market to kind of retest. So I feel if we are going to see some kind of pullback, we could see the market come and retest uh, 115. Again, if I look in the past, you can see all that resistance and support to this level. So one thing is where could price go to? That key level there next step is how am i going to trade that to that point and what i really like to look at is the four hour trend and see how the four hour trend develops if the four hour trend changes the likelihood is that we're going to see that continuation of that and you can see that down here when the, the four hour changed through here look at this nice uptrend that we saw out of euro us dollar now I'm looking for that to change. I need to see some kind of lows being broken. So currently this is the swing low that I like the look of. Price is really close to that. Price has moved all the way down to kind of near those closes, which can sometimes be a good sign that price is going to move to the downside. So what I'm really waiting for is if we are we going to get some change in cyclicity. If we do get the change in cycle, and what I mean by that is if the market starts forming lower lows and lower highs, we can start looking to short this market in line with our potential bias of the seasonality reports so looking for potential for this market to dive back down into that 115 area how can we try that so we could look for a head and shoulders pattern so if the market rallies back to the upside maybe retest 118 again rejects it pushes back to the downside we could look for that we could look for a double top pattern where the market rallies back up and retests that previous structure high and then rejects to the downside um, or we can just look for a standard change in cycle and currently that would be a break and close below this low through here uh, and then we'd look for that continuation move so all in all, the euro US dollar trend could be about to change. So keep an eye on this. If it does start forming lower lows and lower highs, look for the market to potentially trade back down into this 115 support zone. Thanks for watching this video update. If you like what you see, please like and subscribe to the YouTube channel for some more trading content. And I'll speak to you soon.